am Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'll show you how to make this 3D crochet stitch. To begin, chain 42 or any multiple of 8 plus 2. For row 1, make a single crochet in the second chain. Chain 3. Skip 3 chains. Then make a single crochet in the next chain. Chain 3. Skip 3. Make a single crochet in the next chain. Continue this process across the row. At the end, chain 3 and turn. For row 2, we'll begin by putting 5 double crochet stitches in each of these chain 3 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And put 5 double crochet stitches in the next chain 3 space. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Continue this process across the row in each chain 3 space. At the end, place one more double crochet in the last single crochet stitch of that row. Chain 1 and turn. For row 3, begin with a single crochet. Chain 3. Over the next 10 stitches, we're going to do a double crochet 10 together stitch, with all of them using the front post stitch method. Here's the start of the first double crochet front post stitch, but we don't finish it. Here's the second one, and the third one. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then yarn over and pull through all of those loops on your hook. Next, chain three. And make a single crochet in the space that forms between those large clusters. Chain 3. I'll show this again. Here's the start of the first double crochet front post stitch, but we don't finish it. Here's the second one. And the third one. 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then yarn over and pull through all of those loops on your hook. Next, chain three and make a single crochet in the space that forms between these large clusters. Chain 3. Continue with these large clusters across the row. At the end, place your last single crochet in the space at the end. You can see the 3D effect starting to take shape already. I'm switching to another color. Chain 3 and turn. For row 4, it's just like row 2. We're going to place 5 double crochet stitches in each of the chain 3 loops across. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Continue doing this for each chain 3 loop across. At the end, place the double crochet in the last single crochet of the row. 
Chain one and turn. For row five, we're going to stagger these clusters a bit. Start with a single crochet. This time, we're going to do a front post double crochet five together. Make your first front post stitch. Second stitch. Third stitch. Fourth. And fifth. Yarn over and draw through all of the loops. Chain three. And make one single crochet in the space between the stitches. For the rest of the row, do the normal 10 front post double crochet together stitch. Start with the chain three, then one, two, three, nine, and 10. Yarn over and draw through all of the loops. Chain three, and place the single crochet between the stitches. Continue this across the row in groups of 10. At the end, for the last cluster, chain three. This last cluster is only going to be a five stitch front post double crochet together one. One, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over and pull through. Then just single crochet in the last space. And here's what it looks like thus far. For rows six and beyond, just repeat rows two, three, four, and five over again. Continue repeating these rows for as long as you wish. And that's how to make this 3D stitch.